This is the roof that we've already painted um, in the primer. There's a bit there up by the ladder which is unpainted. I'm going to go up there in a minute and show you. Uh, paint we're using here is Ethernet Primer and also uh, what we're going to put the overcoat is called Isonet 20. Uh, as per what you're seeing now, um, Ethernet Primer comes in uh, 30 litres and the Isonet 20 comes in 20 litres. Uh, full description in the uh, description below. Right, so we're up on a roof. Um, that's unpainted. Uh, this has been uh, subject to a bio wash, uh, having all the moss and uh, lich and etc removed. That's the area we've painted already, as you can see. Looks really good, really nice, and that's before the top coat. Um, there's a section there by the chimney where I've painted over the metal, so that's, uh, that's over here as well as well. Um, just to say, this water-based this water paint, really easy to use, um, nice uh, liquidity, doesn't drip too much, um, and as I said, the beauty is if it gets on your hands, just wash it off with water. Um, I decant it into a 10 litre section. Grey here is where there was a slight crack that was causing leakage below. Um, I put some uh, uh, fiberglass tape on it and then covered it up with copper mill uh, acrylic paint and I'm going to paint over the top. Um, anyway, let's have a look at this. So we can hold the camera still. Um, I'm just going to paint the section. You'll see how easy it is. There it goes. Um, really easy to paint. Doesn't, as I say, doesn't drip too much. Um, it goes on really nicely. And you can see it. Uh, this is old. This is probably about 1975. So quite old, you can see how this primer is necessary to absolutely soaking it up. You can't actually see it here, but trust me, when you see it in the sun, you can just see it bubble as it sinks in. So like um, dry, old dry wood or, or skin with moisturizer. So that's uh, that little section completed. Uh, it's taken me about 10 minutes. Um, as you can see, while it's wet, it's not too bad. I mean, it dries pretty pretty quickly. Um, I think it's touched dry in two hours. I'll check that. A um, bit of streaking, but that seems to disappear uh, when it fully dries. Um, yeah, so it looks pretty good. Um, so, the next video will be the overcoat. There's one other thing, I and mean, the beauty of the primer is it actually seals in the fibres. Now you can see that little section there in the middle. I, I don't know if, you, if it's clear, but there's um, this is old stuff. This is probably about 50 years old, right? Um, and it's scarred. Now whether this is uh, lichen or uh, moss that's got in there, um, but the point is the primer gets in deep and it seals it. Um, I think I've saved it. Um, the rest of the roof is in pretty good nick, but you can see certain sections have been subject to scarring. Um, now the primer digs in, soaks in, and makes an adhesive base for the, for the top coat. So the sun's out, um, that's the top coat put on. Um, put on two coats here, so that's what it looks like on the two coats. nicely very easy to apply. Uh, doesn't drip, pretty much odorless. Dries really nice and as you can see there's a, there's a good sheen to it. Um, it rained a few minutes ago this and the water just sits on top. Um, it's pretty hairy actually if you're up here because it's like an ice ring. But uh, that's to be expected. Um, yeah all pretty good, nice and sealed. Hopefully that will last for a good few more years. This is, uh, when the paint dries, this is what it looks like. It's actually almost like a plasticky, rubbery, flexible coating. Um, it's a bit difficult to see, but it's actually, you can stretch it. Um, totally dry to the hand, non-greasy. As I say, almost like a plastic film. Um, so overall, quite impressed by that. So, completed job. Two coats. 